Yo, what's up, Internet? It's your boy Eli here from chichicheka.com, and welcome to our first After Effects tutorial. We're getting into green screening today, which is awesome. I love green screening. Here's a quick example of what we've done personally, and this is from our latest video, The Beach. That's me singing in the background. It's kind of cool. Show they love, love. Show they love, love. Anyway, I got a lot of questions asking me how I did that after the video was put up. And it's actually really easy. First, just bring up After Effects. And you should get a pop-up window saying, do you want to make a new composition and stuff? Just close out of it because we're going to be making our own composition. Go to the Project tab. Double click in this blank canvas area and a window will pop up and it's a browser window so find the footage that you can download at chichicheka.com for free just find this tutorial there and you'll be able to download these four videos now these four videos are in HD and they're very clear and crisp because we use something called a hop hog HD PVR and I highly recommend that when you're filming in HD you're gonna want HD footage because regular footage which is called standard def you get a lot of correlation on the edges it's blurry and it's just does not come out good so Christmas is coming up put it on your Christmas list whatever if you're a little kid doing this or if you're an adult doing this ask your wife or something I don't care if you're a man just go out and buy one it's like 200 bucks which is pretty expensive but it's worth it believe me now the area that we film at on Guardian you just hop up from the lift and it, this is the area where the invisibility spawns and you just hop up on this ledge and you have a clear shot at a bunch of green in the background now it's not completely green which is also a bad thing that standard def gets in the way of because standard def like mixes these colors and makes it extremely hard to key out so now that you have that area just choose one of these you have a close-up you have a full body shot and you have a medium shot I'll teach you how to key out full body in another tutorial but for right now we're just gonna stick with close-up just click and drag it to make a new composition and always make sure that you have this selected when you go up to start doing effects on it because if you don't have that selected all these will be not highlighted and you'll get really upset it happens all the time you'll get used to it okay go up to effect keying and key light key light is extremely powerful it is amazing and it's only with after effects so if you don't have after effects I don't know why you're even watching this tutorial because I only use key light to key stuff. If you're using Sony Vegas, good luck with that because I've tried Sony Vegas. It is not good for keying unless you have a perfect green screen in the back, which is very hard to find on Halo. So open up key light. Make sure you have this selected. First thing you're going to do is mess with the screen pre-blur. You're going to put that to about 1.5. Now when you're messing with HD footage you don't need to put it up that high but if you're using standard def you're gonna wanna put that up to about 3.5 at least or above. Okay now you're gonna hit this little screen color color selector and you're not gonna you're not gonna select the lightest green and you're not gonna select the darkest green you're gonna select the green right in the middle which in this case is right by his head and already you have an OK key next you're gonna go to where this view tab is and you're gonna go to screen matte with screen matte basically you see whatever's white is being kept whatever's black is being keyed out or taken out which you can replace and the gray is just what you want to try to get rid of in the white and the gray and the black is what you want to try to get rid of too so you're going to go down to this screen matte tab, select the little triangle, make it go down. Here's where it gets interesting. 